In this video, we are going to discuss about router on a stick. So, before going to router on a stick, we have to do we have to discuss about several concerns here. One of the main concern is suppose we have 10 or even 20 VLANs which are configured on a switch, yeah, and also even if the switch has more number of ports, but we have to consider that the router should have so many as Ethernet interfaces on it. So, the router has only less interfaces, then there has a problem because we cannot have each and every port connected to each and every interface here. So, for that you see we need to weigh limited router interfaces, we need to use the ways how we can limit the router interfaces usage and also support routing between many VLANs that may be on the same switch. That means, it has to use a limited number of uh, the router interfaces when they are connected to the switch ports and also they have to communicate bet between different VLANs here. So, for this we use this router on a stick and see what exactly is router on a stick. So, this is the second type of inter VLAN routing which is a router on a stick. The router is connected which is used in a single interface that means, the router is connected to the switch by using a single interface of the router. So, the switch port connecting to the router is configured as a trunk link. So, only a single interface is connected to the switch with which is which, which is called as a trunk link here. The single interface on the router is then configured with multiple IP addresses that corresponds to VLANs of the switch. So, as we have configured many VLANs on the switch, so for the multiple uh, connections we use a trunk link and also we have for the VLANs multiple IP addresses configured. So, the interface accepts the traffic of all the VLANs and then determines the destination network based on the source and destination IP on the packet. So, then forwards data to the switch that correctly has the VLAN destination. So, that through that VLAN it will reach the destination IP address. So, as you can see in the next diagram is clearly shown about a router on a stick diagram. If you can see here this is a router on a stick which is having PCA, PCB which are connected to AS1 switch and AS1 switch has a trunk link connected to the router's interface R1. So, this interface is FA0 slash 0, this interface is FA0 slash 1 and these are the interfaces connected to the PCs. So, here if you consider this interland, the inter VLAN routing, the inter internet connecting, if you see this interface connecting the router to the switch usually uses a trunk link. That means, a trunk link is used in between the router and the switch here and the router accepts the traffic that is tagged from the VLANs on the switch throughout the trunk link. So, the VLANs will be having the tagged information about the destination IP addresses. So, that through the trunk link it accepts the information and on the router based on the sub interfaces configured, they will forward to the interface which has the IP address of the destined network. So, that it will transfer to that sub interface through that sub interface using this physical trunk link, the data, the, the data traffic is flown to the VLANs through that VLANs it will reach the destination IP address of the PC. So, that you see when the router receives the tag traffic it forwards the traffic to the sub interface that has the destined IP address and the sub interfaces are in real interfaces it means here the main only one interface is connected to the switch. So, that main interface is again sub divided into sub interfaces, but the, those are not physical they use the physical link which is called a trunk link to transfer the traffic to the testing IP address. So, each sub interface is configured with IP addresses and assigned to VLAN based on the design. So, here each IP addresses of the VLAN is given. So, that through the sub interfaces having the VLANs connected through, through this VLANs the destined IP addresses is received. So, this is about a router on a stick. So, we will be discussing in the next video about dynamic routing protocol.